Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to open up the July CCG crate, or the booster crate from ccgcrate.com. Um, opening it up, we have our usual life pad on the top. Um, like I said, in the last video they changed the logo so it's not quite so dark and it's towards the bottom, which will make it easier when you're writing on it. So that's pretty good. We have our usual, I guess, looks like usual now tokens. These are the same tokens that they included last time, and I thought they were pretty cool. Uh, looks like they decided not to throw in much of a variety this time. We have two soldiers, and we have two cat tokens. So, uh, not exactly sure what, what happened. Last time they threw in uh, one of each, which I thought was pretty cool. This time they decided to only throw in two different tokens. A little disappointing, but uh, the tokens themselves are pretty cool, just like last time. Very colorful, very cool. We have the two tiny dice that we usually get. Nothing exciting there, really. I'll set those off to the side. And uh, opening this up, it's a little, a little strange this time. Um, we have one solitary pack of 2015 core set uh not sure what's up with this not sure if they just ran out of cons packs or if they're trying to get rid of 2015 packs um the 2015 core set's going to be rotating out soon enough so kind of stinks I wasn't really looking forward to getting 2015 uh core packs even though i really like the 2015 core set we have four packs of Dragons of Tarkir, instead of the usual three. And then we have four packs of Fate Reforged, instead of the usual three. Um, so again, I'm not really sure what happened. I, I guess they are running out of Cons of Tarkir, which is a bummer, because every pack of Cons of Tarkir we don't open. Uh, it's a missed opportunity for a fetch land. But I guess we'll just have to have to deal with it. Like I said, there are nine packs in the booster crate. Um, like usual, we will start with the oldest pack, which in this case is the Magic 2015 core set. It's been a while since I opened one of these, so I guess it'll still be fun. Although I still would have preferred Conjutar gear packs, I think. Okay, so we start off with an Inferno Fist, Divine Favor, Fester Gloom, Invasive Species, Solemn Offering, Peel from Reality, Typhoid Rats, Foundry Street Denizen, Ranger's Guile, uh, Wall of Mulch, Restock, Paragon of Eternal Wilds, our rare is... Case of Coilus. Very cool. Um, recent news that they're reprinting the Painlands that were in the 2015 core set in Magic Origins. Um, was kind of hoping for a different different types of lands, but uh, it's cool that the, the Painlands that we open in the core set are going to carry over and, and be standard legal for uh, quite a while longer with that. So I'm happy with that pull. Uh, we have a foil forest and then a mountain and a tip card we'll move on to a fate report pack start off with a jeskai sage sipsic host cunning strike arishing cleric hobbs and advantage archers of carsey smoldering of freets return to the earth great horn krushuk Goblin Heel Cutter, probably my favorite card in Fate Reforged, possibly in the entire Cons block set. Obzin, uh, King Guard, Vault Breaker, Neutralizing Blast, and we have a Flame Wake Phoenix is our rare. Tranquil Cove, Dual Land, and then a Spirit Token. Next Fate Pack. Sultai Emissary, Harsh Sustenance, Obzin Sky Captain, 
Jeskai Rune Mark, Dowson Gloom, Smoldering Afreet, Return to the Earth, Great Horn Krushuk, Goblin Heel Cutter, Ambush Krodic, Pilgrim of the Fires, Light Form, Shock Maw Dragon, and our rare is Crux of Fate. Very heavily played card. And we have a Scoured Baron's Dual Land and a tip card. Next pack. Start off with a Sandblast, Jeskai Sage, Sultai Rune Mark, Grim Contest, Pressure Point, Barrel Krushak, Great Horn Krushak, Bathe in Dragonfire, Frontier Mastodon, Defiant Ogre, Cloud Form, Wandering Champion, uh, Fruit of the First Tree, and a Soulfire Grandmaster. Uh, very cool. Card didn't see as much play as I thought it would. Uh, even now, it, it sees a little bit of play, but it's not nearly as, as widespread as I thought it would be, but uh, I still think it's worth a couple bucks, so very happy with that pull. We have a Bloodfell Caves Dual Land, and then a tip card. Last Fate Report pack. Opening back-to-back -back art, so I'm expecting something good, if the last video is anything to go off of. Dragon Bell Monk, Gurmog Angler, Saltai Rune Mark, Obzen Rune Mark, Avon Surveyor, Archers of Karsi, Fierce Invocation, Feral Crowshock, Great Horn Crowshock, Neutralizing Blast, Cash Defenses, Lotus Eye Mystics, and we have a Dagatar the Adamant. Foil Sandstep Mastodon. It's a rare, but <laughs> not a very worthwhile one. Scoured Barons Dual Land, and then a tip card. On to Dragons of Tarkir packs. This one's going to be stubborn. We are on to a Marsh Hulk, Kindled Fury, Sandstorm Charger, Sipsig Icebreakers, Contradict, Glade Watcher, Summit Prowler, Stampeding Elk Herd, Spider Silk Net, Vulturous Haven. Our three uncommons are Gate Smasher, Shield High Dragon, and an Acid Spewer Dragon. And our rare is Dramoka's Command. Very powerful card that's seeing a lot of play. We have a Swamp and a Morph Token. Next pack. Start off with a Grave Purge, Dragon Fodder, Avon Tactician, Mind Rot, Sidisi's Faithful, Servant of the Scale, Silumgar Butcher, Custodian of the Trove, Sandcrafter Mage, Tigum Strike, Three Uncommons are Colligan Monument, Salt Road Ambushers, and the Meringue River Skeleton, and our rare is Blessed Reincarnation. Um, yeah, that's, we'll forget that. We have a forest and a uh, tip card. All right, next pack. Okay, we will start off with a coat with venom, Colligan aspirant, Dramoka Dunecaster, Pinion feast, Palace familiar, Sarkin's rage. Vial of Dragonfire, Butcher's Glee, Ojutai Interceptor, Herald of Dramoka. Our uncommons are Swift Warkite, Surge of Righteousness, and Ambuscade Shaman. And our rare is Haven of the Spirit Dragon. Seeing a little bit of play in very dragon heavy decks, which makes sense. We have an island and a morph token. Last pack of the video. Hopefully get something good. 
Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Wouldn't mind a collected company. So we'll start off with an Avon Tactician, Mystic Meditation, Hinoch Artillerist, Sarkin's Rage, Vial of Dragonfire, Butcher's Glee, Glint, Pacifism, Guardian Shield Bearer, uh, Uncommons are Inspiring Call, Silk Wrap, and Bloodshed Rager. And our final rare of the video is Berserker's Onslaught. Limited, very good limited card. Not seeing much play anywhere else. We have a Foil Vial of Dragonfire, a Plains, and a Tip Card. Alright. Customary go through the rares of the video. So we had a Berserker's Onslaught. Haven of the Spirit Dragon, Blessed Reincarnation, Dramoka's Command, Sandstep Mastodon, Dagatar the Adamant, Soulfire Grand Master, Crux of Fate, Flame Wake Phoenix, and a Caves of Koilos. Some pretty good pulls in there. Very happy with the Caves of Koilos. Very happy with the Soulfire Grand Master. Crux of Fate is still reasonably valuable, I think, for a little while. Dramoka's Command. Very, very good. Um, not a whole lot else, but uh, those three cards. So far, Grandmaster, Dramoka's Command, and Case of Coilos are, are very welcome, very welcome additions to my collection. So, very happy with these pulls. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.